Yeah. So like a yeah, real chang man. Yeah, got a yellow chang man. Pop off the top of the screw. <laughs> yeah, we're here with the TSX again. And if you remember from the last video where we changed the power steering seals, which is the rings, on the high pressure hose and the low pressure. I think I got that right. High pressure, low pressure, yeah. Um, this nut had broken. Uh, so it looks like this. And they use a 10 socket to remove it. And because of my trunk self, this nut got broken. So I uh, went to the machine shop and apparently I have to remove the power steering pump itself. Carry to the machine shop. They'll take this out and hopefully I can get another screw for putting it and thing and thing. So I'm going to remove the power steering pump now. Uh, let's see how that goes. So based on what I remember in removing the power steering pump, you'd have to remove the lines, remove remove the lines two lines one two one already one line already come off you have to remove the belt and i think you ease off the belt by pushing some pressure on the tensioner pulley which the tensioner pulley is right here and then you take the belt off and then you're gonna have to <coughs> unhook this screw and this screw right here yeah that screw right here so two screws hold it up so wish me luck Alright, so I got the tension, the pulley, the tensioner belt. The t I got, I got the serpentine belt off, which is here, and I did that by using a 15 and a 17, like so, and I put the 15, put the 15 right there, so on the tensioner belt, and have the 17, and just pull back, and the tensioner went up, and my slip out of the belt. So now for undo them nuts here. All right, so I'm gonna just get the top bolt out, which is this, and you use a 12 to get this out. So uh, now for the for the bottom one, which is right here, right there. So I'm gonna know I'll get this out coming on a space, but may I see, may I make the wood one have. And voila, it is out. So now that I remove the power steering pump, I carry it around a place now, the machine shop, to get the that broken nut removed. So I'm not sure I'm able to video that, but see you guys in a well, come back soon. So carry the power steering pump out of Carton Plaza's machine shop and it'll get machined there now. So I'm gonna do him thing, I would just like a wait and then reinstall it as soon as I'm done. Boomson, we get it back and it's out. So it's not so boomson it out. Time for drop it in back. Alright, so we're back and so the power steering pump was out. It is right here. The where is it? Right, so right up this side. The broken nut was removed and now we're ready for replace reinstallation. So I didn't know what I needed before. So for this job I needed a uh, 10 and the 10 is for the hose and I needed a 12 for the the power steering pump um, bolts. Um, I used the 17 and the 15 or is that for it? Yeah, I used the 17 and the 15 to remove the tensioner pulley. So these necessary but not necessarily to pull off the, the, the power steering pump. So we're just going to do the reinstallation now. So let's get to it. Um, we need these two screws and the power steering pump and see you soon. All right, so the pump is back in and this bolt, it, it's not tightened but it's in and this bolt under here is what was replaced and for tightening, I'm going to use the 12, I think it's a 12. So, um, the look is saying that I have righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you turn things to the right to tighten, turn them to the left to loosen. <laughs> and I'm turning this now, hopefully I don't snap this one off. I don't, I don't think so, but then again, whenever I think I'll snap off the other one either. So, that feels tight enough, I'm not going to further. I don't have a torque wrench yet. So I'm going to do down here so now 
and it's the same motion you turn it to the right um, in this case pushing it down space on issue but not today uh, so it's tightening very well all right gonna leave it there seems tight enough and that so now gonna put on back the tensioner pulley and then put on back the lines put on not the tensioner pulley put on back the the serpentine belt so we're gonna need both hands for loosening the tensioner pulley which is here and for that we're gonna use the 15 and the 17 so so come all right so the serpentine belt is back on and if you note it runs like all you need to do is make sure it's line up back in the grooves i think this is the alternator pulley the tensioner pulley um the crankshaft pulley or that the idler pulley i think and the ac compressor pulley so that a one two three four five pulleys make sure say all of them line up um the belt is properly seated that's what i did and i know it's just time to put on back the lines and go and try put on back this bolt and hopefully the new one doesn't snap off on me i'm going to be more careful all right see you soon and voila everything is back on oh geez i carry need an engine wash again uh, but anyway the reservoir all right um and the high power the high pressure line is reinstalled the nut is on nothing, nothing broke this time put on at the low pressure hose um the belt is on so it's just now to start and make sure that nothing leaks but i remember hearing that when you start the wheel should be off the ground when you when you're doing the the bleeding but i don't have any jack stands so i forgot to do the bleeding with the tires on the ground um all right so start up time and here we go and you turn the steering wheel to make sure that it cycles through this a couple of times I'm not sure how many times it's required but I'm going to do it and the sound is still not there that's wheezing sound so that's good uh, wheel is turning and straight and just to make sure that there is no make sure that there's no leaking So it seems fine so far and the belt is running fine so far. Um, so the belt looks fine. Alright, anyway. That's that. Uh, this was a task. But got the job done. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Two videos there up now. You can pre. Just check them out. Like, share, and subscribe. You see it? All right. Forgot to tell you guys to top up the reservoir. Now, if you look in this reservoir, it went down. I'm not really sure how it did look before, but you have to top it up back. And I am doing my best to pour freehand. And boom, got it in. Some spill, but hey. Uh, so it's stopping off. Stopping off. And boom. So you top up at the reservoir. 